Hello, what's up guys? My name is Gazan Furley and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a hamburger menu using Elementor and Elementor Pro. You can have a look at now currently I have only a simple header with simple menus here but I want to convert this into hamburger menu. So what I'll have to do, I'll have to go to the dashboard and then I'll have to go to appearance and then menus once you are here you will have to ensure that you have at least one menu created in this section so i currently have main menu and all services and i am going to use this menu as of my hamburger menu so please ensure you have this menu created once you have this menu created then you will go to the template section and then click on pop up then this sort of window will appear and you will have to click on add new pop up choose a pop up and name it as header or whatever you want i will name it as hamburger header and then i'll click on create template we will wait for the elementor page builder to get loaded once it will get loaded i don't want any of this template so once it will get loaded what you will have to do you will click on this setting gear icon that says settings click on this and then you, first of all you will click on height it is currently fit to content i want it to be fit to screen so that it should look like this then you will click on position and i want it to be right aligned all right vertically that is fine we don't want any overlay and close button that is absolutely fine for the entrance animation let's say we'll say fade in right and for the exit animation we want it to be fade out right so once right that is done animation duration is all fine we don't have to do anything in general settings and previous settings if you want you can go to the style tab and you can change the background colors any way you want i already have some colors in mind so i'll change the background color i don't want any border I, and you can also change the color overlay you can see this area we have kind of black color in here you can change that color as well let's say i want it to be like this solid blue color and i want it to be a bit transparent like this and then you can change the color of this cross icon that says close you can change the color to white and that will absolutely be fine and you can also change the hover color and i want it to be yellow so that when i'll hover it changes the color one more thing i want to reduce its width so that it should look like this once that is done i will go to elementor main builder and choose elementor nav menu widget i will drag the widget and drop it to the section pop up section that we have created first of all choose the menu i want to choose main menu so here is our main menu items i want the layout to be vertical not horizontal so it should look like this and i want the alignment to be center aligned so all the menu items should be center aligned and i don't want any pointer but if you want any pointer you can choose them for now i don't need any of those pointers and sub menu indicator that is classical fine and breakpoint we don't need any breakpoints so you can choose no then we will switch to style tab and here we can use our font styles and everything that you want and any way you want so i will increase the font size to 17 and i want to change the colors as well i want it to be white i probably want the weight to be 400 and on hover 
I want it to be yellow so that when you hover on it it will change to yellow color and for active I want it to be yellow as well we don't have any drop down for now but if you have any drop down you can style them from here you can also add any other things if you want such as social media icons you can drop your social media icons there and you can style them any way you want so I am only styling them a little bit I want the primary color to be white and the secondary color to be yellow yellow is not looking fine so blue so you want the secondary color to be yellow you can drop your logo at the top as well choose the logo widget drop it here my logo is currently appearing here but this logo is not fine so I will choose an image because my logo is overlapping with the overall color of those menus so I want to use a white colored logo there is my white colored logo you can also add the name of your website here and a call to action can be added here as well so I'll add a call to action which says book an appointment want the button to be of medium size I will go to style tab and then I will choose the typography and font weight to be 400 and once that is done I will choose the background color and color should be white because that white color will appear just like that we will have to increase this, we will have to be very careful regarding the font size you will be using here because it will be affecting all of your website theme so ensure that this will match your theme style and if you want to change the color when you hover over this you can set them up here as well just like that instead a blue color just like that and if you want you can align them in middle and this is pretty pretty much what you can do in there so if I want I can reduce more width but I think this much is looking fine so what next is we can click on publish we don't want it to be triggered so we will not add any of those condition here we will simply click on save and close okay once our pop-up is created what we need to do now we'll have to check if we are using an elementor header or we are using a themed header in my case I am using an elementor header so if you are not using elementor header what you can do you will click on this add new button and then from here you will select header and then you will name name it and click on create template and the elementor page builder will get loaded in this way once it will get loaded what we'll have to do we'll have to add a button now I don't want these menus because I am going to use the hamburger menu so instead of this book and appointment what I want is to use an icon icon of hamburger or menu we'll have to search it manually there should be something we can use 
there they are so probably we can use this one so if you want you can change its sizes but for now what you have to do you will have to increase its font size to increase the width of the icon that you are using as an hamburger also you can reduce or increase the border radius if you like but I think mine is looking fine in this way but though I will reduce it and you can also increase or decrease the pad paddings to check which one will serve best for you so I'm checking which one will serve best for me I think yeah the 6% or 7% is fine so I am using 8% now once you have choose chosen this now what you will have to do you will arrange the alignment and now what you will do you will go to this dynamic tags and you will have to find pop up there so if you remember we have this template of pop up named as hamburger header so once you will choose that now what it will do it will add this hamburger pop up to this button so whenever someone will click on this hamburger your menus will appear so you may not find them how they are working in the editor for that you will have to switch to the front end of the website I'm refreshing this and you can see now our hamburger is working fine so this is basically how you can create your own hamburger menu using Elementor and Elementor Pro if you like this content please subscribe to my channel and share my videos i will get back to you with the next video thank you very much